Can you see his footage of what Ian's really like? Yeah. Don't. You could probably make it something like the frog chorus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a bit more like it. That's definitely an improvement on yesterday when we add a load more. Anyway, morning world. Welcome to Friday, 29th of March. Today, we are going to go and fetch 828HHT from Melksham. So, uh, Land Rover's already fueled up, ready to go, checked over, trailer's done, lights are done, tires are done, everything's ready to go. Richard's coming in about an hour and a half, I think. It's about nine o'clock. And we are gonna go off on a little road trip, he and I, to, uh, to Marksham. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna record of this journey, because um, this is Richard's story, um, and I don't wanna take anything away from his story at all. I might record some stuff and then give him the SD card out of here. He can take and use what he wants. Uh, and then if I do a video about this, it, I will put it up after he's done his. So um, yeah, like I said, this is his story. Anyway, in the meantime, tomorrow. Tomorrow is our day, our open day, our charity event. Um, and I am a little bit concerned because Been wet. Well, we were going, but Rich got taken short. He said, Piddly squat active. I said, Oh, yeah, of course it is. He goes, Do you mind? I said, You carry on, mate. So he's in there just um, judging the farm bog. A cup of tea. Did that come up to scratch the farm bog then? Very good, it? isn't it? Yeah. And how are you going to keep those warm and white? Uh, eight. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no, no more, no more, no more. No more. No more. <laughs> right, all right, yeah, we're heading off now. So, we'll, there's no point in filming four hours of us <laughs> chatting in it. Well, some well, well, actually yeah, is quite yeah, funny, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do have a good banter. Yeah. Last time we went to, where was it we went to? It was Ireland, wasn't it? Uh, oh, no, no, we it was did a road trip. Lama. Lama, that yeah. was quite funny. Put the world to rights on the little we road did. trip. Yeah. Didn't we? Right. We're heading out. Yeah. We've got 50 miles to go, I think, isn't it, or something? Something like that, yeah. Right, yeah. let's crack on. Crack on. Oh, you swine. swine. <laughs> go. It's 33 miles. Oh, it's not 50, then? Yeah. Oh, OK. So, OK. All right. Well, I've got it on, uh, on, on record. You've given me the postcode. I'll well, put yeah. it in correctly. So if we don't get there and just get lost. Well, if we end, if we we end up in Birmingham. <laughs> I think Birmingham's it's got a B in it. <laughs> I think it's coming down. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the old Harry was wishing we had an extra seat there. Oh, well, place, Harry right? wanted to come, yeah. And I said, I oh, know there's no room in there. He's all right. He's got his, he's got plenty of things to play with. He just went out and started his car up yesterday. He, poor chap, right? He's bought this car and all it's done is sit on concrete. Because he can't drive it on the fields. No. So he's, he's, he's like, he's got, it's like, he's there, it's like, <laughs> you know, he yeah. wants to drive it around the field yeah. and it's like, you're not it's going like, anywhere near. Like forbidden fruit, isn't it? It is, poor yeah. chap. He keeps telling me all the things he wants to buy. At the end of the day, it's a Ford 7000 all the way though. That's what is it. His ultimate aim in life is to own a Ford 7000. And I totally believe he'll do it. Yeah. He will yeah. do it. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Harry, right? I, we got nothing blue on our farm at all. No. So there's no influence for me saying get yourself a Ford son. And I'm kind of steering him towards Massey Ferguson's. He's not having it. No. He's not interested in 35. No. He wants a Ford. Okay. It's got to be a Ford. And I try, I'm trying to get him to get a 4,000 or something a bit small, but no, 7,000. Maybe we'll get a 4,000 first of all. Yeah. I want that. It's a shiny red one, look. Oh, not thinking the fact that I bought myself a ringer. <laughs> Honestly. Morning. Oh, oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Two little donkeys. 
No penetration. I know. Yeah. Just, yeah. I reckon. I reckon you make a crack it. I reckon that'll look lovely when you've done that. Oh. It, but it is hard. Yeah. It, you know. You I might even have some of these at home. I yeah. don't know. We might have some of these in the shed because. It was already. Cracked. Because we've all. Yeah. It's over. probably me welded it 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't be, I would say I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if I did that when I was 30. Yeah. And uh, that's why it's not lasting. Because <laughs> it's me. Oh. Yeah, but the thing is, because you've got them, you can always get some made, yeah. made yeah. there, can't yeah. you? So. All right, so we put that on yeah. there. Yeah, right. go back a land um, or something. And also, I mean, I think it's unlikely anybody's going to want the loader. No, I don't know. But if they you do... You might be able to... Well, they can come to me and get it. I was going to say, either leave it on the tractor yeah. or put it under the bench. With I the might just leave it on the tractor, yeah. to be honest. I might be quite yeah, happy to stop it there If you sell that loader and they want it, just come to me. I don't want any money for it. They can just have it. Yeah. I think um, the only way I'll get rid of the loader is to give it to somebody. A few people said to me, oh, you ought to get the loader, but to be honest, what am I going to do with it? I don't want to use it with no. a loader on. No. And, it's, and it's another thing to store and keep. i got enough stuff. <laughs> you know what it's like? <laughs> you just accumulate stuff in yeah, life, you do. don't you? You kept a maniac. You start off here, He's a and before you know it, well, you just think, well, oh, I'm, I'm terrible. I'll put that down because I might need that one day. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've got lots well, of bits of wood good. about that long. Yeah. So have I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hands up everybody who's not guilty of that. <laughs> because you, you and, and the thing is, the moment you throw it out is the, the day that you go, oh, I wish I'd kept yeah. that. And you're always looking for that odd bit of just the right thing. Yeah. Right yeah. So I got my strap on as well. So strap. yeah. Yeah. It wasn't really important. I just wanted to do something a bit silly. You? I, you? <laughs> How out of character for you? you? <laughs> oh, talking of which, yeah. I found something very interesting for us to eat at, at Christmas. Oh, have you? Yeah. I. Oh. You know, you love it really, don't you? Did you see the whole body just sink? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout, and this came up, and I thought. Right. Spot on. You're so thoughtful. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I know. <sighs> All right, I'll tidy that up in a minute. That was Andy Lowe. And a little tapping stick that was. Right. I've got to put that foot up before I do anything else. Don't want to forget that. That could create all sorts of problems. Oh, you are heavy, aren't you? Double strapped on the front, pulling him that way and down. And he's double strapped on the back, pulling him this way. So if I have to stop quick, the idea is we don't end up with that in the cab with us. Would you get a doodah? I want a doodah. Look at these. Or we're going to get waved off. Right. <sighs> Put my seatbelt on. But not that I've made the way. Oh, he's taking a picture of us leaving. Mm. Fair play to him. He's watching a lovely me, watching man. you. Lovely man he is. Mm. Oh, well, I'll have a jaffa. Why not? Have a jaffa. Yeah, you might as well. Have a jaffa. That was all very smooth and easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice people. Yeah. 
I reversed the truck up to the entrance of the barn, mm. got my shoulder underneath the oh, thing, and it didn't, and then just, just tipped it in there, so it wasn't that difficult. It was, uh, I was really hoping this wasn't going to rain again today. Uh, well, that's the last thing you need for your field, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think we could have a lot of very soggy children doing Easter egg hunts tomorrow. So what have you got planned for tomorrow? So there is four separate, uh, well, maybe even five now, Easter egg hunts. Mm. So kids come down um, and they go in and they got a lot of these little, like, little plastic eggs. Right. They put in our little enclosed woodland area. So they can go in there and find those. Mm. So it's literally just hunt the Easter egg. Uh, they're not really Easter eggs, they're just little plastic things. So uh, and when they come back out, they all get a prize. Um, little little bag of sweeties and right. whatever else, whatever else. But unless you find the gold Easter egg, right. if you find okay. the gold Easter egg, then you get a special prize as well as on oh. top. So, so they'll all be looking for the good. They'll, they'll pick up all the eggs they can, but they're looking for the gold one. So, mm. apparently that's how it works. I've never done an Easter egg hunt. So, no. so they so didn't do things like that. No, that's that that's, that's my daughter's um, input. That is. Uh, Cast traffic chaos. Yeah, well, you know. This mad woman walking along here. Why would you want to walk along this road? <coughs> Tree surgeons. Yeah. <coughs> Wouldn't have any good. They're to a penny these days. Oh, plenty everywhere, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Like 50 at 11, 50 at 12, 50. Well, but the thing is, it's like. Everyone the, wants to go at yeah, whatever. The Easter egg hunts are all like, pre booked. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so people have got their times booked. Oh, that's for that. already done, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. So that one, hopefully, uh, folks probably won't come. What about so, if people turn up and they want to have a go? Well, that flight tip in. Yeah. Right. Those freezers. Well, we advertised it, it was pre booking. Oh, okay. So if, you so did, if they did turn up with kids and they're crying their eyes out, then it's a bit. This well, thing is, we, do one here. We, we can only do so many at a no, time, though. See, so yeah, it's really hard to manage yeah. an event out there. It would be useless. Yeah. And the thing is, we've because there are so many allocated per yeah. time. We got we've only got X amount of prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, again, you know, it's like with Holly selling pies and stuff. Yeah. How many pies do you make? Too many, and you've got four hundred pies left. Yeah. Over. Not enough. And yeah. Judging it, it's really difficult, isn't it? No. But the thing is, at the end of the day, was. We're trying to raise a few quid for a, oh, what I think is a really worthy call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and most people have come to help. I've done it free. Yeah. You know, the bar paid for all the licensing. Right. Okay. So they paid because we have to let the council know we're doing it. We have to let the mm. police know. So, and they did all that. Mm. So they were really good, actually. Oh, they were well, really good. So very helpful. Yeah. So I'm getting a bit carried away, can't I? Uh, I'll, I'll going, keep Harry on a bit of a release. Yeah. You know? The kids go, well, you could do this and you could do that, Dad. You could do everything, that. but then yeah. you'll never have a life. Yeah. You'll be run ragged. Yeah. And you'll never be able to relax. No, I live there. Yeah. That's my home. I know. That's, it's not a party rev. No. No. Well, imagine the trouble is, party events usually involve lots of alcohol. Yeah. And not always responsible adults. No. And so, so whereas, uh, oh, most of them are fine, but the odd occasion, only takes a couple of idiots, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So. That's coming from sensible middle-aged men. That's the trouble. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But we knew what it was like when we were young and not sensible. And well, not middle-aged. you have to grow into a bit of common sense. Yeah, don't you? you do. Yeah. 100%. That is exactly and it's true. Usually, isn't it? It's usually a long, hard, painful it lesson. Is. Uh, it totally yeah. is right. Yeah. <laughs> and quite often expensive. Exactly lesson. Yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. You know, you should not have done that. Yeah. yeah. Common sense comes with age. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. And when so, you're young, it's like we'll just do it. Yeah. No, don't worry about the consequences. What, what does consequences mean? Yeah. Is that in the dictionary? Right. Also, consequences means dad will sort it out. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas when you get to our age, you know the consequences are down to us to sort out. Yeah. I don't think you're going to have to have a roof sticker on that one. No. Busy getting across here, right? Yeah, take your life in your hands sometimes. Just a bit. Mm. Well, on badminton week, it's bloody yeah. horrendous up here. <sighs> I know. <coughs> totally. There's travel lights down that way, isn't there? Eventually, yeah. they'll go to red and then there'll be a gap. We're going for it. Yeah. Well done. 
Well, you can wait so long, and then all of a sudden it's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah just didn't do it. Yeah. I, think, I think I had enough space there that I wasn't rude. No, and also they could see a big red sign. Yeah. Thing. He and stood out a bit. And enough it? space for him to go, oh, I think he's moving. Yeah. I'll just back off the fuel a little bit, so. I hadn't seen him for mm. ages. And it's like, shit, that's massive. Yeah, it's like Reggie's little brother, isn't it? Just... And it's kind of like, you've got to say, <laughs> I just... Moly, 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 moly. You know, try not to yeah. look at, try not to stare at him. Yeah. But you can't help it, can you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I do, anyway. Yeah. Like, like a pint. And a mixed grill. Uh, yeah. Did it's look very nice. Is his way out yet? Yeah. Is it not? No. It's like a oh, massive. It, uh, it's like a champagne cork. Is that? Is there it go. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I'm thinking more like you're like you're it's like a cocktail. All they're shaking and banging oh. around. You know, it'll all be shaken up. I'm just waiting for you to uncrack the lid. Oh. That's the best mixed grill I've had in ages. Is it? Down to George and Thornbury. Oh, okay. That was cracking. It was only about sixteen quid. Oh. Wasn't stupid. Lots of size there. I just do a lot of size. <laughs> I got to the age where I just I saw so it. I, oh, don't worry. I, I, I catch yourself doing that when I'm editing, like, editing video. Go fuck that. It's another side to edit out. I get to the top of the stairs and I do a side. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm not <sighs> that old. <laughs> what, what am I going to be like when I'm really properly old? Yeah. And I get to the top of the stairs and go, ah, ooh, ah, 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 Yeah, ooh. you're not alone. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, and also, at what age did I suddenly start doing all these sighs? Because I didn't do that when I was younger. I never went anywhere inside. This is like, what happens? Here? I do it all the time. Terrible. Yeah, literally, yeah. quite often, there's, yeah. there's a lot of video clips you'll see what I've done. There's, it's the beginning, I've cut the sight out before I start. Well, you, <sighs> you should right do, then. You should do a compilation of size. Of just all your size that you yeah, uh, put into uh, one long. Uh, <laughs> so, this is behind the scenes footage of what Ian's really like. Yeah. You could probably make it something like the frog chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, get somebody to uh, do a re get somebody uh, do a remix uh, on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> do a remix of the, the side chorus. Yeah. Oh, oh it's all yeah. too much like hard work. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, actually, I could probably do a compilation of that from my teenage boy. Is it? That, that, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, you don't understand. Oh, it's so, so hard being a teenager. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I've got to get a better up past 11. Oh, oh, oh so unfair. <laughs> oh, so these, both in their shorts, they both went doing. <laughs> and they're both sat there with like cushions on. Yeah. It was quite funny. I think I remember the, I think I remember it seeing it on the telly. Yeah. We went to uh, see Bottom. Oh yeah, I saw Bottom. Um, Hooligans Island. Yes. And, yes. Uh, that was funny. And the one that um, they filmed, they filmed it on the night we were there. Yeah, we were there the same night. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Um, because uh, some of the sketches there, because I was one of the I was one of the whistlers. Yeah. Oh right. So um, I can't work out which was me, you know, but no. quite often I see bits of Hooligans Island, and I, go, yeah. Yeah, I was there. Oh, it was very funny. They were yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Especially all the ad libs they did when they cocked things up. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, he forgets his life. Fantastic, I loved it. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, every time he says that, it's because he's forgotten his lines. Oh, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Bottom, I absolutely love that. Mm. I thought it was funnier than the young ones. Yeah. The young ones are still good, but when you look back on it, you go, oh, I don't know, it's not as good as I thought it was. But Bottom is still, I watch it, I just laugh. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's all seedy and kind yeah. of, it's just funny. On the home straight then now, Ian. Yeah, the last yeah. half mile. How's it pull with uh, the weight of that on the back? Yeah, no worries. Like, yeah. 124 it. GGs in here, I'll just pull it away, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Easy run then. 60, yeah. I mean, 60, 66 miles. Was it? So. That was all quite an easy run, wasn't it? Everyone yeah. Everyone was worried about the traffic. There wasn't any traffic, was no. there? Nothing to speak Absolutely of. Absolutely fine. Yeah. And they, Oh, Good old Gil still on the back. Oh, yeah, I'm glad to say it's still there because it's still it, there. It, was me who, it was me who strapped it on there. Well, so what, what would it be like if we if we got in your yard and we got out of the back and there was no tractor there? Well, if you'd asked the question, how is it pulled? I'd go, oh, it's pulled really easy. It's, it's, really like, well. it's like there was nothing there. Because it's on the side road and them now, <laughs> upside down. 
No, I think I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. let's get it in the yard. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. What's reckon, biscuit? Do you think we should get one as well? Hey, do you? Do you think we should get one of those? Right. So, this is my spare SD card. As you will probably already gathered, because you've probably watched the rest of the video, we went to fetch Richard's little Massey Ferguson 35 this morning. He's chuffed as a monkey, um, but uh, he very kindly said, uh, rather than take it straight home, we could bring it here and he's happy to put it on display for our Air Ambulance charity event we're having here tomorrow. He's coming about two o'clock, I think he said. And uh, we'll try and raise, see if we can raise a few more quid with this tractor. Uh, well, that's quite clean oil. He's low-ish, but it is clean. I can't remember the last time I sat on or started one of these. The cushion's in a bin bag in the back of my Land Rover. And I think that's where it's going to stay for a minute. Oh, key. Key would help. Where did you put the key, Richard? Oh, there it is. Oh. Probably go better with that, wouldn't it? Um. that ramp in a little bit. It's not mine. I don't want to break it. Sweet, isn't she? All right, that's that done. I will put the brake on just in case. All right, let's go and get rid of the trailer. Uh, Wise the straps up, move that second trailer, and then I can get on and do my animals. Right, that's all my trailers moved. Richard's little tractor is tucked up in the dry. It's lashing down with rain outside. I expect you can hear it on the roof. 
My dog sat in it looking very unhappy. <laughs> Look at the state of her. Come on. Was it wet out there? It was wet out there. Oh, really? So the bar is here for tomorrow. You can, if you can see the big black tent at the back there. They want to come in early because they needed to plug their fridges in and coolers, have it all cooled down, ready for tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to look back and say, in hindsight, oh, was it worth the mess that it's going to be? And if it's like this tomorrow, where people are even going to turn up, and you know, if they don't, I don't blame them. Because this is a free entry. There's no, no forward tickets on this, and we did that deliberately on purpose that you know, if the weather's really terrible and nobody shows up, no one's out of pocket. I'll still ask folks to donate online. You know, I'll put a, a link in the bottom of the description box below. Again, that uh, if you couldn't make it and you wanted to support the air ambulance, you, you still can. Ah. Oh. Blue sky over there. It's just not above me. Oh. Okay. It's 20 to 5. We're almost done. So, these guys, clean yard, clean bed. Clean bed for them. I've just scraped out what I can of the yard up there. It's been so wet this last couple of days. It was just running in slurry, so I've got what I can out of it. Problem is, I scratch too hard, I end up bringing the stone up, and that is no good to man or beast, so... <clears throat> All right, put a bit of wood chip down to help soak up what I couldn't pick up. It's cosmetic, as much as so we're going to have lots of people here tomorrow. Many of them don't follow the farm, so they possibly won't understand the trials and tribulations of trying to keep stuff clean while it's while it's so wet. I mean, it is an uphill battle trying to keep anything clean at the moment. So, and I know I'm not alone in that. Never known a year as wet, ever. I reckon you've got enough to last you most of tomorrow till four o'clock anyway. So maybe tomorrow night you'll want a new bale. But until then, whew. I'll scatter most of it for me. So I shan't get too precious about it. Daft thing is, I'll put a nice clean bed in here, and where do they want to lie? Up there in the crap. You know. Okay, hooligans. I reckon they're happy. I don't think they've run happy before, but they're happy here, aren't they? Got some beef in here, so... Um, so we probably got one, maybe two beef packs back on the market. Uh, one of my clients that regularly has two uh, is indisposed and he can't have them. So um, I'm going to have to... Um, I don't know when he's back from where he is, so... Um, yeah, so I'm going to offer them out. Um, if anybody wants to go on the reserve list for a beef pack, it's going to be whichever is the biggest of them. So that's a candidate. And so is that. Or that. Or the one behind. Yeah. Or maybe even you, 168. You're not a bad looking animal, we've got plenty of back on you. For a Dexter, that's a good looking animal. Right, I've given them a bale. They didn't need one tonight, but having done that tonight, they got a bale and a half. That is enough to last them until the end of tomorrow. 
Um, I'm going to be fairly busy, I think, tied up with stuff tomorrow. So the more I can do today, the less I have to do tomorrow. All I've got to do, some of these are still due to drop calves, so I'm still going to be up and down all day checking on them, but yeah, all the work work is done.